tonight, it'll be the New York Liberty going up against the Phoenix Mercury. Courtside with Tim Swartz and Brian Benefitemi. I'm Blake Suniga, and we've got a fun one. Tonight, two great backcourts facing off. Brian, what's the mindset when you get caught up in a showdown with another guard? The key is to not take it personal because this isn't a game of one-on-one. -on -one. Basketball is a team game, so don't get caught up in looking at the scoreboard and trying to outscore your opponent. Of course, the only numbers on the scoreboard that matter is the game score, not your personal number of points. But to Everyone on the court, remember this, they're the best of the best. They want the big-time matchup, so it should bring uh, the level up of your game. Now here's Boyd. Back to Nurse. Boyd. From 12 feet out. Here's how we be. Good D by Dewana Bonner. That's the kind of D that's needed when she's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over her. The lead pass was put in just the right spot to produce the layup. What a physical presence down low. Griner's not afraid of anyone when she's around the basket. Outside Boyd. Charles. Bonner defending. And they double up Tina Charles. Six to shoot. Nurse with it. She's against Bonner. Pulls it from the elbow. And they'll turn it over. Couldn't get a shot off. That's a 24-second violation. First quarter, just over a minute played. Now here's Tarasi. It's good, and she makes her first shot of the game. Well, it's that natural feel for the game that allows Tarasi to see plays before they materialize. I mean, she's creating while other people are still getting up to speed. Now here's Charles. Nurse outside. Zowie B. Shot clock at six. Excellent D there from Brittany Griner. Tarasi outside. In. You have to respect Tarazi once you start taking it to the hoop because uh, it really it gives her space to pull up and knock it down. Yo, now here's Boyd. Right here, right here. Outside Charles. Nurse. She's covered by Tarazi. Steps back and shoots. And that one goes long. Still scoreless after four shots. They need a bucket. Pass to Griner. Back to Tarasi. Fires the three. That one, no good. And it's the Liberty taking it the other way. And they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. They got to score. Now Nurse. Here's Allen, covered by January. Here's Boyd. New York, no good that time either. Still can't get anything to fall after five chances. January, good for the basket, starting off one for one with that shot. So far, so good for them at the offensive end in the early going. Their field goal percentage is terrific. Exactly the start they were hoping for. Timeout called the Liberty. Well, guys, it's all the rage to have the GOAT debate in every sport. If you're having one of them in WNBA, when it's basketball, you start with Diana Taurasi. All-time leader in points, three pointers. She has done it all.
And first quarter, we're about three and a half minutes in. Now here's Boyd, covered by January. Nurse outside. Yes, and it's Brittany Boyd picking up the assist. Beyond the numbers Tim mentioned, Tarasi puts her stamp on every game she plays, Brian. Yeah, Blake, even into her late 30s, most nights, Tarasi is the best player on the floor. And to me, it's her passing that separates her from other all time as well. Nice open look, but it's no good. Even though she missed it, she couldn't pass up that chance. Yeah, they don't come much easier than that. Outside Boyd. Pass to Charles. Poked away. January with the steal. And up the court come the Mercury on the break. And stolen by Nurse. Banked in off the glass. Good quickness, but great length can help Nurse on drives. Allows her to get shots in areas that can't be swatted. Rossi outside. Here's Griner. Joanna Bonner for three. It's money from deep. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. Nurse outside. Pass to Charles. Outside Boyd. Five to shoot. Back to Charles. First shot, first basket. She is out of the block fast. I like the recognition that we're seeing from Boyd. and She kind of makes it effortless the way she locates her open teammates. Now here's January. The floater. Amanda Zawibi with the block. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. He's covered by Tarasi. Well, good defense in the paint. Worth its weight in gold. It absolutely is. And we just saw it right there, didn't we? Without her presence, that's an easy two points. New York trailing here. Boyd with it. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. Pass to Charles. Now here's Boyd. Don't want a Bonner with the block. Defense is all about effort. Bonner gives so much effort on this side of the ball. Fun to watch. Now here's January. Boyd covering. Tarasi right side. January outside. Side Carson. Amanda Zawidi with the block. Here's Boyd. Pass to Charles. Here's Allen. Carson covering. Outside Boyd. Over Carson. Boyd can't get it to go. She's missed everything this quarter. Everything. Every shot. Every shot she's taken has been a miss. I mean, it's just been hard to watch. Now here's January. And here's Bonner. Oh, hammer! Wow! She'll go to the line. It goes on Brittany Boyd. Remember, you know, back in 2012, it was a, a breakout season for Dewana Bonner. She scored more than 20 per Two game. Shots. After her first three seasons in the league, she Take averaged a break. about 10. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Uh, from a young age, Dewana Bonner was exposed to the game. Her dad, Greg McCall, a college head coach. And you can see it in her game. A very high IQ player who is comfortable on the floor. Both good at the line. 
And guys, it's not just her dad who's into basketball. Dewana's younger sister, Erica McCall, was the 17th overall pick by the Fever in 2017. Yeah, they must have had some crazy games of 21. And Erica is actually eight years younger than Dewana. But it just goes to show you how growing up in a basketball environment breeds greatness. Hartley shot us off. Phoenix leading. Pass to Bonner. Mitchell. And here's Griner. Covered by Zowie B. From about 16. They get it back. Bonner. Foul call that time on the way up. And that'll give her two chances at the free throw line. Nice job to get to the line by Bonner. A tremendous foul shooter. He's just about an 85% career shooter at the strike. I think when you watch Dewana Bonner play, you are seeing the perfect example of a modern power forward. Athletic and long, 6'4", aggressive, can stretch the D with a three-point shot. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And she makes the first. Bonner is a modern four, and Brian, Bonner had to adjust her game to the current environment. Well, everyone always talks about shooting when it comes to bigs nowadays, and with good reason for Bonner, as she significantly increased her three-point output, but maybe more important than that is her passing numbers, which have been way up since she first entered the league. She's just the total package. Now here's Hartley. Pass to Durr. Inside, now we be. It's rebounded by Phoenix. Yeah, remember that. And that's not an opportunity. She fails to convert very often. Mitchell outside. Bonner outside. And she can't extend the lead to double digits. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. The second round pick in the 2015 WNBA draft. Rashonda Gray has been a bit of an underdog in this league. She's been getting better each season, though. And I think that she could become a premier talent pretty soon. And with Gray slipping into the first round back in 2015, Brian, would that give you any added motivation to succeed in the pros? Definitely, Blake. For Gray, she's got to have that same mindset. Believe in yourself and show the world what you can do. I believe in her dedication towards being a star in this league. Well, the Mercury uh, franchise with a few banners, now they got three in total, and those have come in 2007. 2009 and most recently 2014 and you just gotta think of them as a very well-run organization shot by mitchell no good and they need to be consistent with their effort on the boards i mean just take a look at the box score they're at a definite disadvantage yeah and time will tell how big a factor that becomes in this game but if you're the coaching staff it's certainly something to emphasize yep that one goes and so here's Phoenix. Six point game. Pass to Bonner. It's rebounded by Wright. To the left wing. And here's Zowie B. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for her. Took advantage of some shoddy D there. They got to at least get a finger on her. And so the first quarter in the book. 
That's the Mercury. They lead by seven. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. think about the Mercury here in this one? They've made the most of their fast break chances here in the early going. Yeah, tie your shoelaces because they can run and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. And so it's New York with it. They trail by seven. Now here's Durr. She's covered by Mitchell. Outside Durr. Pass to right. Clock at six. From way back. But they get it back. Hey, hey, move. Outside Durr. Just five to shoot. Now Gray. Covered by Little. And it's Gray missing. Well, that's just not a sight you see very often because she has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when she's open. Right on the double team. Here's Mitchell. Amanda Zowie B with the block. Here's Hartley. And it's good for two. They're not rotating quickly enough on defense down low. They've got to provide more resistance inside. Here's Turner. She's guarded by Hartley. Passed a little. Over Durr. And Little gets it to go. And uh, just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Now here's Hartley. Outside Durr. to Hartley. The 19-foot shot. They grab their own miss. Zowie B gets the bucket. Coach has always told me that if you battle for offensive rebounds, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on the follow, just like she got there. Here's Turner. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. Here's Bonner, and there's another one for the Mercury. Home court advantage has always been huge, but lately we're seeing some teams opt for rest and health instead. Only the true top elite teams can opt for rest. It's a luxury and a reward for playing well earlier in the season. You take care of business early, you earn some rest. Absolutely, but most teams are still battling for home court, and they're battling for their place in the standing. A nice shot by Durr. With the appropriate range and release to sink from downtown, Durr is without a doubt a skilled shooter. Here's Turner. Mitchell outside. The high post shot. The shot will not fall. And it's the Liberty taking it the other way. Hartley outside. Pass to right. Here's Gray. Outside Durr. From deep three-point range. Does not find the mark. She's made two and missed one now. And stolen by Gray. Hartley outside. to Durr. From downtown! Turner grabs the board. Oh, man. That's one she'd like to have over. Now Mitchell. She's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Here's Turner. Gray defending. Down to five on the shot clock. And it's Turner missing. The Liberty Trail. And they're going to count the bucket and send her to the line. It could be a three-point play. When I 
think of players who have really improved as rebounders, I immediately think of Rashonda Gray. Early in her WNBA career, she wasn't putting up the biggest numbers, but with more minutes nowadays, she's been putting in work. certainly become more developed in the rebounding department. Now, Tim, what do you attribute that to? Well, it's the toughness Gray brings, really, in every facet of her game, including crashing the glass. Rebounding isn't something you just kind of do. You have to be committed, and Gray is. Now, here's Tarasi. Six on the shot clock. As is Carson attacking. It's stolen away. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. So they take the lead. Here's January. Fast a little. Reiner with the ball. Tarasi with it. Gray defending. January outside. Buries it from three-point range. What a passer. Diana Tarasi sees the game like few ever have. Finds teammates in great positions. Poked loose. Nurse outside. Pass to Gray. Allen. Carson covering. Shot clock at five. Here's Nurse. The rebound by Brittany Griner. Well, she rushed that one, but he was out of position, but she couldn't make him pay. outside back to Tarasi Reiner hey, right here. second shot opportunity and that's two points on the layup but with the wingspan of over seven feet and three inches Reiner's got mad length and she really knows how to use it now here's Gray with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Shoots from 12. January outside. Tarasi. Little left side. Back to Tarasi. Over Nurse. And there's another one for the Mercury. Sound, fundamentals, footwork, and pair it with a smooth release. Tarasi is next level. To the right side. They need this. Jump shot is good. Phoenix leading. Up top, January. Boyd covering. Outside, Carson. Up top, Little. January outside. And here's Diana Taurasi from the arc. Not going to go that time. And New York will come the other way. Here's Allen. Carson covering. Right side, Charles. And Little pulls it down. January with it. She has five. Rossi outside. Pass to Griner. Now here is Carson. Now to Rossi. To the inside. A nice shot by Griner. He has shot the ball exceptionally well as they've built this lead for themselves. Well, the New York Liberty, a marquee franchise in the WNBA. One of the chartered teams in the league. But unfortunately, they're still looking for their first title. Yeah, her touch has deserted her this quarter. Nowhere to be found. Here's Tarasi. She's got six. 
January left side. Pass to Griner. Now here's to Rossi. Rebounded by Charles. Rebounded by Boyd. And with the Liberty, as you said, that first championship, something they are searching for. New York has come close several times. They've played in four WNBA finals, and this team is desperate for a banner, but it just hasn't been in the cards for them. She's trying to get them back into it, but the results haven't been there. They get it back. January outside. Outside, Carson. From D. Offensive rebound, Mercury. Yep, that goes. They've owned the offensive glass here in the second. Yeah, making a point of getting in there and battling for missed shots. Outside Boyd, out to the wing. Outside Charles. Nurse. For three. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. It certainly wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap. Out to the wing. We on January from long range. Yes, and a nice assist from Diana Tarasi. Makes defensive work with fluid court movements. January doesn't need much time to get her shot off. And so we wrap up the first half. Mercury out in front, up by 11. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter going. one-sided affair for the first two quarters, but there is plenty of time to mount a comeback. A fantastic game from Bonner in this one. Well, she created a lot of good shots for herself in the first couple of quarters, and she knows when to pass up on the tough ones. Good shot selection. And that led to a very high points per shot number for her, and that's a stat that really tells you how efficient a player has been. Welcome back as we begin the second half. So far, not a tightly contested game, but anything can happen. Now here is Charles. Pass to Boyd. And here is Zowie B. Charles. The three won't fall. outside and here's Griner Boyd covering here's Bonner Tina Charles with the block swatted away Charles one of the best ever at rejecting opponents incredible work rate defensively here's Allen Carson covering and the call is gonna be yep an illegal screen 
The idea of setting a screen on that play, it was the, the, the good idea, the right idea, but the execution was not. Yeah, you really want to set a hard screen, but you also want to make sure it's a legal one. Well, Tina Charles has had lots of great years in the league, but 2012 was arguably her final. Charles averaged a double-double, garnering MVP honors for Connecticut. Now here's Tarasi. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Bonner, she can't hit that time. Good D by Tina Charles. You know, it might be a poor shooting performance for her, but luckily her teammates have picked up the slack. Back to Boyd. Pass to Nurse. Fires from deep. Yes, and it's Brittany Boyd picking up the assist. Yeah, for Charles in 2012, winning MVP in just her third year in the league. And guys, she carried Connecticut, leading the team in points, rebounds, and blocks. And she helped the Sun finish 25 and 9, owning the best record in the East. Oh man, she is so good at making those lead passes. Rossi outside. Pass to Charles. Can't connect from short range. Phoenix in the lead. January outside. And here is Bonner. 12 points for her. Let's it go from deep. The shot, no good. She hit a couple threes in the first, but so far, just unable to get on court here. Here's Nurse. But they recover it. Here's Allen. Looking for her first basket still in this one. Just five on the clock. Out of bounds, it'll go to the Mercury. Boy, do they ever make a mess out of that? to Bonner. Now Mitchell. Go, Go, this way. A little under two and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Outside Carson. Clock at four. Amanda Sawidi with the block. Oop, there's the 24-second violation, so they'll turn it over. So both teams changing it up here. New York trailing here. Pass to Charles. Back to Dirk. Hartley. Laces one from three. Well, they needed a run to get back in this game, and they got it. Yeah, and it wasn't just about getting hot offensively. Defensively, they've been terrific, too, during this crucial stretch. Absolutely, Brian. You need both sides of the ball to get back in this game. Now a timeout called by Phoenix. And one of the best players in the WNBA, Diana Taurasi, in action tonight, the former MVP. She does it all on the wing. One of the most dominant players ever. Griner. 
She's got 10. And there's the foul. It'll go on Rhea Hartley. That's her first foul. And with Tarasi, she is at her best when the stakes are at their highest. Look, Tarasi has multiple finals MVP awards, and that speaks to that mindset you were talking about. And she's been compared to Kobe and Jordan for her impact on the league. That's the kind of generational player Diana Taurasi is. Pocket two. They shot around 45 to 47% in the first half, which helped them build the lead, but their offense has stalled here in the second. They gotta get back to the basics here. A nice shot by Durr. Known more for her shooting than her finishing, but don't you dare sleep on Durr's touch around the basket. To the wing, right side. Here's Turner. No scoring yet from her, but that's likely to change. Right with the steal. Down low. Here's Charles. That one a little long. Early on, she tried to shoot her way out of this funk, but now that it's later in the game, I think she might want to just give it up and look for her teammates to do the bulk of the scoring. Now here's Hartley. She has five. Pass to right. Charles. Now here's Durr. The rebound by Brittany Griner. A three-point spread on the scoreboard. Here's Bonner. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. I'm old school. I mean, I know the mid-range jumper isn't cool anymore, but uh, Bonner, she still has this tool in her game, and it gives defenses headaches. Pass to Hartley. Right. Over Griner. The 10-footer finds the target. That's a difficult shot in the face of defender that just towers over him. Well, she loves proving people wrong, which is just what a mismatch like that gives her the chance to do. To the wing on the left. Joanna Bonner for three. Down goes basket six for her this game. She's taken 12 shots and made half of them. Hartley outside. Pass to Charles. Zowie B. Hartley outside. Five on the clock. And she can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Mitchell outside. Honor outside. Pass to Turner. Shoots over Hartley. And it's Turner missing. Here's right. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Phoenix leading. Timeout time called time the Mercury. Looks like the coach saw some things out there that need adjusting. And it's going to take a little time to talk it over. Yeah, and never a bad idea to use a timeout if there's something that's got you concerned. to Turner. Little outside. 
Mitchell with it. Shot clock at five. Goes back up. And she lays it straight in. Well, controlling the boards, they're plus five in that category. Yeah, and look, rebounding, it's not a glamour stat, but you look at the scoreboard and you see the result. Now here's Hartley. She's got five. Now Gray. Hartley outside. Fast as Zowie B. Over Griner. Zowie B shot is off. And so here's Phoenix. They've led by as many as 11 points. Good on the bucket. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first. Playing smart with the lead. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. Asia Durr on the wing. He's covered by Mitchell. And that one goes in as she's fouled. And Asia Durr to the line. It's on Leilani Mitchell. What's up? And that one misses. And a chance here to see the incredible Tina Charles in action. Former MVP, uh, she won the award in 2012, without a doubt, the leader of the New York Liberty. She gets that one. Nice pass. She got that ball right into her teammate's shooting pocket, and it yielded great results. To the paint, Zowie B. And the shot goes in. And with Tina Charles, she has always been great and proved her defense recently. And the defensive improvement goes hand in hand with her rebounding. Always been one of the best rebounders in the league, but now she gives you everything you want on the block. Now here's Mitchell. Back to Carson. Pass to Griner. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. That's their third straight make off an assist, and it's always good when you can score points by getting teammates involved. Yeah, that's just great ball movement. Nurse with it. Carson covering. Hey, yeah, Nurse into the lane for the basket, her fifth of the game, and she's missed six shots against those five makes. What a dangerous player in the pick and roll. Nurse knows when to take it. That's the key, knowing when to pass, knowing when to shoot. To the middle. Here's Reiner. Amanda Zowie B with the defensive effort. Inside. Gray, that's good. Putting her physical gifts to good use. Gray was not going to be denied on that contact finish. And we've reached the end of the third. It's the Mercury leading by four. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. This is an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for her. Yeah, she served her up some tasty room service right there, guys. Sweet dime. you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. Reiner with the ball. Slides right through for her seventh basket and 11 tries. Just an incredible display of athleticism. Now, Reiner's active on both ends of the floor, and her coaches appreciate that. Now, here's Nurse. To Zowie B. And fouled hard that time. And she'll get two shots at the line. It's going to go on Brittany Griner. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Throw is 
good. Shots good from the strike. Phoenix leading. And here's January. Pass to Tarasi. Tries to break her ice. And the layup is good. Moving it around. Eight of the last ten points coming off assists. Nothing makes a coach happier than a display of pure selfless teamwork. Absolutely. Here's Allen. Now Charles. He's covered by Tarasi. Back to Charles. Just five on the clock. It's over January. A nice shot by Charles. She just exudes a love of the game, guys. You can see it in everything she does on the court, off the court. She lives and breathes basketball. Now here's January. Carson with it. He's picked up by Charles. And it's Carson missing. Not her best game, but they're getting it done collectively. Yo, 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 watch this, watch this. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. Outside Boyd. There's the three. And the shot's off the And they're holding on to the slimmest of leads. And they can't afford to let it get any slimmer. Pass to Carson. Reiner. Tarasi, defended by Nurse. Clock at six. Back to Griner. Amanda Zawibi with the defensive effort. And so it's New York with it. Down low. Charles up and in on the layup. Tough make. You don't end up making over 2,000 baskets like Charles without some hard ones. January outside. Here's Griner. Diana Grossi from the arc. They get the rebound. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That is great timing. She is one tough customer on the offensive glass. It's almost like she has a sixth sense of where that rebound is going. And hers might be better than just about anyone's. What do you think, guys? Now here's Nurse. It's not going to go for her. Great D that time from Dewana Bonner. Outside Carson. outside. Tarasi outside. Bonner outside. Over Charles. Bonner no good. New York trailing here. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Outside Boyd. To the inside, Charles. The second chance effort. Mercury with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. Marossi with it, and Nurse picks her up defensively. Everyone wants someone who can hit the three ball and play defense effectively nowadays. Well, you're in luck if you've got Brian January because she does both exceptionally well, and she's a point guard that was named six straight all defensive teams. And she knocks down the first one. 
And January checks that three-point category with flying colors. Well, remember, she's led the league in three-point shooting a couple of times, including 2018. Her first season with the Mercury, she shot from beyond the arc an eye-popping 47%. In this uh, analytical age of basketball, January is so valuable. And the Liberty call time here. You look at Dewana Bonner, what a contribution. She's just in a groove right now. I don't think they can stop her altogether, but you have to make her work harder than she has been. offensive sets and they really want to turn it around they got to lock in and need a basket just to regain some momentum now here's nurse shoots over to Rossi. nurse with the bucket give her another she might be a point guard but nurse can light it up herself her diverse skill set can lead to big nights Tarasi with it defended by nurse to the left side wing outside Carson Bonner January. Super Boyd. And again, Phoenix no good. To the paint, Charles. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. It's going to go on Brittany Griner. When you have her on your team, you feed her in the post. Charles is too much to handle. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. What a year she had back in 2012. Charles was the WNBA MVP going for 18 and 10. But also defensively, she was second in the league in block, showing her dominance on both sides. She hits both of them. Some players rise to high expectations, and Tina Charles is certainly one of them. After being selected first overall in 2010, Charles was the Rookie of the Year with Connecticut. Now here's Tarasi. Pass to Bonner. And stolen by Charles. Oh, and the fast break for the Liberty. Now here's Nurse. Defense right on her. Five on the shot clock. January with the steal. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. A multifaceted guard. January can beat you east to west and north to south. And remember, that rookie season for Charles was historic. One of the best postseasons ever. How about this number, Blake? Charles set the record for rebounds in a season during that rookie year, making a statement. She'll be a force in the WNBA for years to come. Four on the clock. From about 10 feet out, she can't get that one to fall. And the Mercury going the other way now. They've led by as many as 11 points. Wasted no time on that one. With an increasing knowledge of the game, January is able to read defenses effectively. Pass to Allen. a three and Kia Nurse gets the three. She might not be the top sharpshooter in this league, but that's not a shot that D can afford to give to her. Now here's Griner. To Rossi outside. Bonner with it. Down low. Griner. And 
so she draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. Second Fellas, I don't think it's a stretch to say Brittany Griner is the most dominant defensive player ever in the WNBA. Standing at 6'9", she just owns the paint. First one falls for her. Griner is so intimidating down low. The multiple-time defensive player of the year changes a game. Absolutely, Blake. I mean, Griner forces opposing teams to alter their game plan, and she's been doing this from the jump. I hope you guys remember when she led the league in blocks as a rookie. She hits both from the strike. Tim, can you believe the job they're doing at the foul line since halftime? They've been perfect. Brian, I almost can't believe this. As cool as can be. Great focus, great efficiency. That's how they've built this league. The right way. Pass to Charles. Soft touch off the glass. Big time from Charles. Remember, she's a national champ, gold medalist. She loves these moments. She's been in these moments. Now here's January. Rossi outside. Poked away. Stolen by Tina Charles. To the middle. And that comes off the assist by Kia Nurse. Piling up the buckets, post moves, three pointers. Jumpers. You know, Charles can score in so many different ways, it's so hard to stop. Outside Boyd. Just outside. To take the lead. Some solid defense from Breon Daniel. Phoenix leading. Rossi on the wing, defended by Nurse. Bonner with it, working on Charles. Reiner, covered by Zowie B. Here's January. The Mercury with another miss. It's Dia Nurse on the wing. He's covered by Tarasi. A shot by Nurse, no good. Carson on the wing. And a foul on the shot. She'll go to the strike for two. So the first one drops, and that will put them up too. And so both free throws good this time. And it's a three-point game. Needed those and got them. Terrific job at the line under pressure. To the inside. Pass down. Outside Boyd. Inside. Stolen by Bonner. And the ball out of play. The Liberty will have. What a time to get sloppy. In a close game like this, you cannot be getting loose with the ball. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Left side, Boyd. Six to shoot. Pass to Allen to tie it up. 
And it's Brittany Griner with the rebound. Two points here. Might be all the cushion they need. You would think so. This game is theirs for the taking. Outside, Carson. Now January. Here's Griner. Boyd covering. There's Breon January with the three. Ooh, no time luck out, on that. Out. Good work defensively by Brittany Boyd. And the Liberty call time here. Guys, what do you think? There's still time left, so they don't necessarily need to go for the three. So if they can get a decent bucket inside. I'm not so sure. There's not a whole lot of time to play around with. I think they look for the three and try to tie this thing up. Yeah, you could do that. I think the quick two might be the better play. Let's see what they do. You got it. Presentation of our Gordon Player of the Game, Joanna Bonner. Yeah, excellent job in the scoring department, putting around 50% of her shots. So uh, she hasn't forced much. If it hasn't been there, she's made the next pass. New York, no good that time either. And they go to the intentional foul. Yeah, you can't let them hold the ball and just milk those seconds away. Nope, and you've got to foul. It's going to come down to free throws. Pressure situation. Taking two shots. Good on the first. And that gives them a four-point cushion. Sixth pick in the 2009 WNBA draft. January ended up winning a WNBA championship in 2012. No mistakes there, and I think you can close the book on this one, guys. And the Liberty call time here. What's your take, guys? I applaud them for trying to the very end, but uh, this one's bad. Absolutely. The only thing this timeout's going to do is draw out the misery a little bit longer. And we've got dinner plans tonight. Here's how we be. Offensive rebound. That's why you look for Charles. She's played in so many big games. The big moment, it does not affect her at all. And the Mercury call time here. Ladies and gentlemen, the dance team. that are so great to win and so hard to lose. I love being on the edge of my seat uh, just wondering what would happen next. And that'll wrap it up 